Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm watching a movie. <laughs> He's been killing it with these animations. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is about Long Horse. For those of you who are not familiar with what Long Horse is, sorry, my voice sounds kind of weird. I'm very tired. But uh, it's a creature based on a creature universe by Trevor Henderson. We've done several videos on it already. You know, the, the famous Siren Head, that was Trevor Henderson's creation. So I guess Shutter Authority took it upon himself to make this. And this was really, really a surprise for me. So let's see what this is about. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay. So I guess that means that he's not going to get the next bus for a while. And he's like, look, I want to go home. So, and oh my God, wait, does that mean that he's stranded there? Cause it says next bus is at 745. Next bus, 645, 745. Mm, oh, in the morning. Okay. Yeah. That sucks, dude. I've been there. It's the worst feeling to feel stranded, dude. I've been stranded. I was sitting there talking to one of my cute teachers. No. Okay. That, never mind. Sorry. We are going to pretend we didn't hear that. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Dude, if these noises, like, <laughs> come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't do this right now. I have to go to bed. Like... Mm. Where if there's any jump scares and please don't. <laughs> oh, okay, so no, no, I'm gonna have to finish this in a minute because like I can't. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> Ugh, can't I cannot. So we'll wait. We'll reconvene in a little bit. <laughs> next. <laughs> next morning okay so as soon as i woke up i decided to finish reviewing this oh god last night was just not the time i don't know why i just the long horse thing just freaks me the so i still have it set up okay so we're gonna continue off so if i sound a little bit different it's why i mean i still just woke up but um sometimes you guys you point out that i sound different and that's like really because i took a break but let's uh let's continue actually we're gonna go back or no, actually, I'll watch it over and then come back to where I left off, which is 116. <sighs> okay, so this is really stressful for me. It's not even funny. I'm not trying to entertain you guys or be funny. It really is stressful. <sighs> okay, let's go. Mm. Mm, the noises. Why is he not having his light on? Jesus Christ. Jeez, I can't, I don't know if I can watch this, like, this isn't funny, like, I don't know if I can do this, I can do everything else, I can do Siren it. I cannot do Long Wars. You know what, I'll just watch it on my own, so I can get through it at my own pace, and then I'll come back and give you guys the review. So I watched over the Long Horse horror short film, it was really good, Long Horse is actually really cute, man, the, 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 the sorry. This was really well done, and obviously Sh Authority did his homework. I love that they introduced Long Horse, and Long Horse seemed to have been protecting him from Siren Head, and the guy's like, screw you, Long Horse. Long Horse's like, all right, all right, all right, brah, try to help you out. <laughs> what really got me was when the guy tried to run away, he jumped over Long Horse, and the sirens were like, stay right there, and then he steps on these gnarly-looking toes. <laughs> Dude! This right here, like, if the hu the human was, like, silhouetted a little bit, like, the moonlight shining down, I don't know if that, that is moonlight, I think they're using ambient light, I don't even know how he did this, but if he is using ambient light, which it looks like he is, 
because you know cameras can shoot really well in the dark now they're using a little bit of the cast light for the moon emulation it looks really good it almost looks like the cover to a freaking movie like it's this is amazing i love it the foot looks so real is it a real foot like did they kind of take a real foot and then kind of you know mold it in with the cgi because if they didn't this model looks amazing it looks even better than the rest of the siren head how they utilized Siren Head because he did try to call the police. That was so, so good. And then I, I was like, okay, I hear the police sirens. Maybe he'll get there before Siren Head. But I'm like, wait, Sirens? Siren Head is there? Oh, Jesus. Now, the thing I enjoyed the most about this was the sound effects. The neck cracking and popping and weird noises. Like, I could actually hear it in my ear. And it was a really good utilization of that. Sometimes, even if you don't have the best graphics in your movie, it, you can actually make the movie so much more scary than it is just by utilizing sound. Because that's something that's a heightened sense, especially if you can't see in the dark. For me, I feel like if I'm in the dark and I'm impeded, I'm going to rely highly upon my sight. That was just so amazing how that felt amplified times 1000 because you know it's not something that is naturally occurring in the environment. Nothing's gonna sound like a goddamn neck popping every five seconds. The guy's reactions were good like but I was wondering to myself why would you go looking for it but he's not expecting it to be a freaking long horse demon looking thing. I like his facial reactions but I would have liked if he was a little bit more scared. I mean I understand that <laughs> where they're shooting it's probably dark and you can't exactly scream bloody murder because there's people sleeping. <laughs> and you got to use what you got. Okay, but I would have liked a little bit more fear on the actor's face because he was cornered and he, I could see that he was, he was reacting to where the placement of Longhorse was, but he didn't really look scared. Like, if you can't scream, because I don't necessarily scream when I'm in a situation like that. Not that I would be in a situation where there's a freaking Longhorse thing following me around. Knock on wood. I don't have wood. Damn it. Anyways, <laughs> what I found what I found helps is to actually scare the mess out of people that you're trying to wreck. <laughs> now this may sound sadistic and cruel, but I used to babysit my siblings and my cousins, and I am really big on imagination. So when I was making up a game for them where I was the dragon monster thing, I had to make them really feel it. I told them, which was the reality, that if I caught them. I would bite them. Then they'd be out of the game and they wouldn't get to play with us for until like the next day. I didn't bite them really hard. I didn't draw blood or anything, but I made good on my promise. <laughs> and my littlest cousin, I caught her first and I bit her. And then I straddled her and started tickling her and then like started biting her. Listen, it's a weird kind of thing. You know, it's okay in my country. So everyone else realized what happened and they're like, oh shit, she's not playing around. And for some reason, the fear just got amped up. Like it was so much more fun because I felt like a monster. Like I want to eat these little shits. And they were scared shitless. Like you should have seen their faces. They weren't having fun anymore. That was a different level of what the hell, whatever that was. And that's why they love playing with me because they actually felt afraid. What? See, so his reaction here, he looks afraid, but his body isn't responding. He's not running fast enough. He should be bolting and kicking it. Send a dog after him or something. <laughs> but he was realistically trying to throw something at it, which I think that I would do. He called emergency and he basically sent his location to police. I didn't know you could do that. It's kind of awesome. His facial expressions need to match what his body is doing, even though his body is a little bit slow. And I know it's hard to do it because especially if you're, you don't have enough time with your character. I give them credit for being able to do this in as little time as they're able to do it. That's the only thing that I would, I would do, like amp them up with some music or something. And because this is a terrifying thing. This is something from another dimension. Plus, of course, the guy thinks he's dreaming. But it kind of would be funny, though, if he starts screaming or letting out little shrieks and then somebody calls the cops because they think someone's actually hurt. And Shadow Thor, he's like, no, we're filming a movie. They're like, go home. It was really good. I enjoyed it. It was short. It was simple. And it was true to the lore. Even though Long Horse, I believe, he usually appears in your dreams before something happens. And I think this honestly makes better sense. Because if Siren Head was there, like, if someone dreamed something and Long Horse trying to warn them, like, that's not the best way to do it. Because, like, as far as I'm concerned, like, I don't know what you are. And if I didn't know that... The lore was that if I see you in my dream, that, that means you're trying to protect me or tell me of something that's coming. Um, I'm dead anyway. Like It's not like Lone Horse really prevents you from getting in danger. 
He just lets you know that there is going to be danger, and you don't know, you have any way of telling where it's going to come from. The fact that Shutter Authority brought it to life in the real world, and it actively tried to prevent this guy from getting killed, I think makes a lot more sense for the monster. It's just a great way of interpreting it. Anyways, guys, if you want to see the whole animation yourself, go on over to Shadow Authority, give him a like, give him a comment as that continues to support the channel and help it out. We want to support our animators, so if you can't donate to him, please leave a comment and share the video because I'm sure that a lot of Trevor Henderson buffs would love to see this. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.